Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whenever you're listening, when I thank you for doing so. I am once again Kevin Mumphrey, and this is fucking <laughs> Fix It in Post. I'm here with Karsten Hyde Ferguson yeah. and Victoria VA Jones. What's going on? If you're planning on buying a new Lamborghini, Mercedes, uh, what's another fancy car? Where are you going with this? Just just follow me. Like, Give me a name of a fancy car. Follow you. Infinity. You, oh, well, I, don't, I don't know. Or even Infinity. BMW. BMW. If you're going to do that with um, the money you were making from Instagram, you may want to go ahead and, and buy Facebook. that. And Facebook. And Facebook. You may want to uh, go ahead and make that payment fast because they are stopping they are stopping their influencer payment program, I believe, this month or next month. Yeah, time to take your so, asses to work now. Now with, with you. You may <laughs> you you may be wondering why we're bringing this up. But a lot of content in which we watch is through Instagram, Facebook, and more notably now, TikTok. We, that's coming next. Well, that's a whole horse of another. Because that, <laughs> now, so what I always thought was interesting about the Instagram and Facebook influencer program is TikTok doesn't pay them. And oh, they for get, real? no. Huh. No, it's like, it's like they brand, were, it's like brand deals. Oh, so yeah. like so they, a lot they, of, they yeah, link they, them with brands like to promote. So if you them. have if you had like in if you got a million people on TikTok, it's probably you know it's more. It looks good for a market for other brands. They want they want to market through your TikTok, and then so, they pay you for marketing their brand. Like that, because like TikTok that. was getting so big, it looked like Facebook was like trying to pay people. To come on there and do so. And ah, okay. Shit didn't work out. Um, yeah, but but I mean, so. like, it, it's not like like let's not let's not act like everybody was like you know rolling in either. A very very tiny small percentage. Yeah, like was was and then getting to the money. Most people had day jobs and the pay payments were served like sporadic. Mm -hmm. So you may do do well and get three thousand one month, six hundred the next month. But there's there's a a good group of people who who do well and that's their income. That's what they depend on. So yeah, but that's very small. I, I get that, small. but I'm just talking about the people who do. And the ones that do is probably ones who've been already making money off of uh, yeah that life. So they probably got brand deals from plus other stuff, other companies. Because honestly, it's you if you're going to market a product now. Would you rather buy an ad on a network station or just have it marketed through social media? Depends on who's it depends on who it is. is. Like who's who's a who's the audience? Like who's the audience? What's the market? What's Not the even the audience. Rate? It depends on who's going to do it. It depends on who the person is. No, but 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 the audience matters like more so than I, the person. I, I know the mo I know that, but I'm saying for me. It matters of who the person is. I don't really care no. about no, necessarily but, but, the audience. But I, 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 I honestly, I think the influencers are interchangeable. I think the audience is the most important thing because, like, the audience is who you're trying to sell your product to. I'm like, hey, I can find it. So let me throw a, throw a product in just to make it look easy. So let's say we're we're marketing a film. That, that's now, probably a bad example. Now, I mean, if it's a newer film, not like, yeah, I but mean, but even, I mean, fil films kind of hard to market anyway, especially in this market. If it was like a, a some widget or like some kind of alcoholic widget. beverage or something like that, okay, let's go with alcohol. It, it, it'd be easier to like you know, hey, like make that the example. So let's go with alcoholic beverage then. So would you rather market that on just net like traditional network television, or would you rather do it with? Online with influencers, like what? What kind of alcohol is it? But when you say when you say that online is not the same as using i mean it's it's different from using facebook or an influencer than just putting it online meaning streaming services and stuff like that to market it yeah but i, I would I, I would not market on like a amazon or even a twitter i was like because like it's not as precise as facebook instagram now, ideally yeah I'm, i wouldn't count. But, but but also like it depends how old is your market that you're trying to target because like that would be the difference if it's like old dudes or whatever that have cigars with their their alcoholic beverage, like some kind of brandy or whatever. Like a, maybe a whiskey. Th then then I, I I'm probably they're still probably not in that age range, 
we're gonna be paying attention to ads online like that. So like print ads like in the back of a affection auto magazine or 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 like uh on certain programs or whatever that you know they might be you know happening to to look at that's probably something honestly uh in store is probably the best thing for that but if it's a younger demo like some kind of new vodka or something like that then you know if it's young dudes or young women then i'm gonna go to certain places online but I'd rather just pay for an ad on you. I mean, YouTube or Facebook or something like that, than have paying somebody else to influence it. I'd See, rather just now, pay for it getting on the the social media network. An idea. So I'm, I'm going with the alcohol. I would probably go more of the online influencer route, just because now you don't want to go with just one influencer. You may want to find like four or five, because one influencer they'll do it. You know, you got the uh, wife and husband or boyfriend and girlfriend influencers. They're going to make the fake ones. Yeah, that. So they'll do it one way. <laughs> then you've got the the guy who does the skits. He's going to market it another way. Um, another person who does like reviews. So you, it's almost like you're getting different form of commercials. You're talking about a very, very large uh, platform where you get to the point of um, like influencers on the smaller level. I would go with VA's thing. Because, like, you're going to get actually more bang for your buck doing that versus the influencer. Because you're only targeting the influencer's audience versus, like, the whole audience or, you know, all people within such and such. Because, you know, when you, sc- different you scroll, yeah. you know, you're going to scroll into ads. Th- those are just going to pop up, mm-hmm. period, point blank. So if I'm going to spend my money, I'm going to spend it on me you scrolling and you seeing my ad. As far as you, some people might not like this influencer that you get. Everybody don't like all the certain influencers. So if I go with this certain influ- influencer and people don't like that person, they might not mess with my product. I see your point there. Now, there's another thing, I, and this is more something that we're probably having on TikTok. And it's, uh, it's a probably a bit of a Hail Mary play as well. But let's say one of the TikTok influencers does the skit in a way that other people replicate. And it becomes like a trend. Now, yeah, bro, the, and I feel like I know where you're going with this. Are they going to remember the product? Yeah, I, I, yeah, that's why I say it's a bit of a Hail Mary. I mean, because it like, is risky. Because, because look, it, yeah. you, you run into the same thing traditional uh, ads run into. The Geico commercial with the cavemen. People remember it was about the cavemen. They don't remember the Geico attached to it. And that's where your ad falls But that's flat. almost like, as far as like their marketing, it seems like all their commercials are like that now. I mean, like, they're trying to make something memorable, but the thing is, it needs to connect to the product. Because it almost, like, with, with, with Geico, it almost has to be reminded that they do insurance. That's what most insurance commercials are. But it's like... Pro- progressive. But, I mean, it makes with, sense oh, for... girl. It makes sense for that, because it's, it's really hard to, like, make insurance interesting. No, it's not. As far as a... No, it's not. Insurance. Yeah, you know what you know. I, you no, no. You know what I would do? I would do like a mini series, right, around an insurance like salesperson, and then have to deal with all the tragedy, and they'd be going to funerals all the time. Uh, I may I dress that up, and they'll sell insurance at the funeral. No, 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 no. <laughs> they, 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 they're represented from the from the deal, and they got to deal with all the tragedy and stuff like that. Just think, think of how much drama anytime somebody dies. That's the funeral home, it's, though. No, not just at the funeral home. I'm, I'm talking sorry. about like people, like people at the house. <laughs> talking my about, mind, how this looks like, you look like an asshole because <laughs> it's like <laughs> if you had your insurance, you wouldn't be going through this. <laughs> uh, hey, somebody gonna do it. <laughs> no. Somebody gotta do it. No, for real, because like a bunch of people be dying without any like whatever, and they got to do the go go fund me stuff, and everybody crying or whatever. Time about we ain't got no money. What what for four <laughs> for four dollars a month? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Just, I, I'm just saying. The picture in my head is like it's like that Carnage commercial, <laughs> yeah. but like. An asshole way. In- insurance commercial, which which made him. And then Carson made, would be like the front man for it, just may, pop up out of nowhere. No, made, made him. You were paying four dollars a month. <laughs> you should be going through this right well, now. Well, Mayhem was an asshole, man. <laughs> he was, but you, I could just imagine you doing it. I think you'll be it would hurt. worse it would than Mayhem. But I, I think, I think those tears wouldn't be there for four dollars a month. <laughs> and then the way you would say it, I think you would. Oh, oh no, no, the, the, bad. no, no, the tears would still be there. But <laughs> you wouldn't have to do a GoFundMe funeral. 
<laughs> yeah, that's a pretty asshole. I, I'm saying, like, <laughs> but it's real though. It's real. <laughs> hey, hey, look, look. Hey, hey, you gotta be playing with some people because you try to dress it up with there, it don't hit them. You gotta hit them, and they're gonna hit you. <laughs> they gonna throw man. a TV at your Oh ass. my god! Yeah, god, so this is why you're not an influencer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm influencing y'all right now. It's a violence. Oh, <laughs> nah, man. You, nah. you call us heathens or hooligans or something. You can't influence us. Look, look, I, I apologize. <laughs> I, like, I, I, like, don't, don't lie. I talked I talk to somebody. I talked to somebody the other day. I'm like doing something, and I just like looked up in the sky. And they're like, what? I said, man, I forgot to apologize to my co-host. <laughs> yeah. I was like, man, I, I, was, I was just joking. I, I, man, I hope they didn't take no offense to that. I did call them heathens. And he, yeah. said, he said, what? Heathens. Yeah, he said, you call us heathens. He said, he said what? <laughs> and you... I said, like, 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 yeah, man, like, that's pretty bad. No, I wouldn't. I'm pretty sure with the, no, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure what his friend said afterwards. Like, you got a podcast? Hey, man, you missed the point. Though. I don't even no, 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 no. They, they already know. They already know what the deal is. <laughs> so, they shout them out. Is. That, that doesn't offend me. No. Okay. Being called, a, I've been called worse. Oh so, yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't know. I, heathen doesn't sound so bad to me. It's just funny. Oh, it's because because Fifty Cent made it, made made it sound nice, huh? When did he when say did that? He... he said heavens for churchgoers, and uh, and he said heavens for churchgoers, and earth is for the heathens. So I'm gonna ball the f out while I'm breathing. That sounds like poetry to me. Was that in a song? Yeah. Mm. That sounds like poetry to me. Don't remember that. I don't remember that song neither. I think uh, I, I, which which song was that on? I'm gonna look it up. But um, anyways, so back to Kevin and what he was saying. Now, again, that's all the influence they do. They got well. Actually, now I think about it. how much content do you consume? A short form content or whatever so from Facebook. Not a lot. I mean, I scroll through, and then if I find a meme or if I find a funny video, but, but then by I'll... content, I mean people are moving. Moving. Yes, moving. Like I, like cameras what, what involved or something. Not, not memes. Not memes. Or like a video. Yes. I don't. I mean, because I mean, there was a point where Facebook, and they, not, that not... may still be the point where they're still they were heavily pushing it, like you. I mean, they were. I mean, they were buying shows off of it. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, to an certain the one show a... we won't won't name because Lord knows what happened. I mean, they they would they had a whole thing with it, and I believe like three. God, it's weird. I can't think of the other show. There's like three other shows. But that that's that's the deal of you. You know, you putting up certain things to get noticeable. That's how those influencers got noticeable. So. At the same time, they used it for that. But as far as me, the on, look, the only reason why I have social media is because of what I do, and I need it for what I do. So if if we didn't, if it wasn't around, I wouldn't deal with it. But since I have to be on there to push pro, you know, projects or network or whatever whatever then i entertain myself by looking so at stuff you would like i'm gonna use this film as an uh, example again to push your project pro your uh, film project you have used social media yeah now obviously you wouldn't use an influencer because i mean there's certain people to go hey just uh say like uh well, you, it's not gonna work like that or like now i'm pretty sure you've seen something like this like let's say they have like an opening and they're just kind of like uh Doing their influencer thing, taking photos, selfies. Yeah, I was here at the at the opening of. Blah, blah, I've blah. seen that and it looks cringe. It does not look. It does not look authentic. Like the only ones that looked authentic was when you had the, like, except Kevin Hart. It, it kind of like works almost like an influencer the way you promote certain projects. Like he did that. Um, but I, I almost like with him being a comedian, he could almost he could make fun of the fact. That this is happening, and it could all like no. It, he he did like a little mini thing with uh, I was it ride along? It was one of the, I can't remember. I think it might have been ride along. He like went in the south, and like at the opening, he just like popped up on somebody. He didn't announce he was oh, gonna well, be there. I mean, and he's feels, like he's like hey, feels, he's like hey. That feels I mean, a little. I mean, that feels yeah, a little cause, more cause, authentic. Right. Like not that maybe no, not that, that was dope. 
Because like you said, they're all, they they recorded the reactions, they they put it out or whatever, and it's like, man, that's pretty cool. I think cool that's what makes that. it authentic. Yeah. It may not be him, but the people are like, oh, what? They're having an authentic moment. Yes. Now right. he may have curated that moment, but I, it's still and dope. Here's why I, I, dope. I wouldn't. I mean, it, it's a great example. I just when you Kevin Hart because. Now he did use social media as part of yeah. like his rise. Well, but I, I don't look at him, and but I the mean, way he promotes he used too. elements of influencing. Yeah, but like him, The Rock, Fifty Cent. Um, yeah, like no, did, no, they they they, they, they understood it, and they 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 used the element better than like most yeah. of these influencers. I just don't did. think of them as like. Well, that's why I said. Inf- that's yeah. why I said kind of. I was like, he's a celebrity, but it's kind of like influencer or whatever. Because, uh, like this is this is Fifty. Uh, was kind of like a, a, a watered down world star. Then he had that boo boo website or whatever, where he was like, he would start beef with somebody and then like have bloggers like start messing with him. And I was yeah. like, yo, this is wild, man. Like this dude is off the chain. Oh, I found him lyrics too. It's in yeah, a it's it it's in a Young Buck song. It's a Bonafide Hustler, and it says uh, they say heavens for churchgoers and hell's for the heathens. So I'ma just ball the f out so while we, I'm breathing. We heathens. I just want to let y'all know. Y'all can ball out like Fifty Cent said. I, I ball out right. anyway. Put that down. I, I, you only get one life. Oh. Okay. I might not spend money like that, but I ball out. Okay. I save all my nickels and dimes. The, I I just said I might not spend money I, like is, that, but I ball no, out. Like people balling out make me nervous. There's different, there's, there's different waves of balling out, okay? Oh, okay. No, there's, there's different I'm, waves. I'm you, so, I am so on the low the, wave. The, the definition of balling out is, goes a lot of ways, all right? You ain't got to spend money to ball out, okay? To me, I'm like, just uh, saying. So would you like extra cheese on that? Oof. That had, nah, no, that, nah. that's, that's, that's nothing. You on that's a budget? nothing. You're on a budget, homie. That's, oh, yeah, my, my, yes, I am on a budget. <laughs> Even <laughs> rich people are on a budget. Yeah, but not everyone. Their budget's way different. Hey, hey, look, they they made that documentary, that ESPN documentary, broke. That thirty was thirty for yeah, it was thirty, 30 for, for thirty. 30 yeah. yeah, like they made that for a reason. Hey, because a fool and his money sh- sh- shall sh- shall shall soon be. Can parted. you get it out? No. <laughs> anyway, a fool and his money shall soon be parted. I, like if you, you if, I didn't, I didn't no, say if you, all rich no people. no I'm saying if if you don't know because like look at the celebrities look at the whatever they get that fast money that stuff be gone like, hey the pandemic should have showed you that because some of our favorite actors and actresses didn't have it like that honestly I think the pandemic showed that a lot not a lot of people not just celebrities even businesses PPP like loans PPP loans like this whole country was hey, check hey, to check there's a bunch of people going hey they're going to jail now. They are kind, in kind, jail. Hey, kind of like that lady. Uh, they ain't Wait, got them did, all. Did they ain't any, got them uh, all. No, they didn't have got, they, they, they they influence. Well, no, uh, it, no, there was so, a bunch of influencers. The only and, one hell, I like can uh, think of, even people with, tied to that uh, that um, Real Housewives show of Atlanta, like uh, that Arkansas Mo dude, or or Love and Hip Hop. He was on Love and Hip Hop, and then another dude that was tied to uh, one of the ladies on uh, the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Hmm. Uh, her her husband or ex husband, you know, it doesn't matter with that show, but uh, he he got locked up for like PPP loan scams. Uh, there's a guy, there's a gang of people. There's a bunch of people up in Nashville. I mean, PPP loan scams. They buying rims. Like, seriously, I'm like I'm like you bought some rims. You going to jail for thirty years for some rims? They really? Had the ball out. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey look, they, they, they had the uh, they had the same definition, I guess. Bling bling, you know. They had to show they weren't they weren't struggling in the pandemic. They had to show that, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm against my paper. You know what I'm saying. And then I'm going to jail. They, they had to show you the <laughs> pandemic ain't gonna stop none hey, of this it, balling it's over here. Better to live rich for five minutes. No, than not to live no, rich. That is that is a all. that is a lie. Do not <laughs> listen to those lies. <laughs> Obviously, you've never had your baller moment. No, no, I, no. I, so what, what's, I, look, I, I had moments where I had some money, and I, I just, I, I told you about the coat. I bought that brand oh, new coat. No, we're not doing this. Again. I bought that brand. I, 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 just, I said it on the podcast that was earlier never on. Never, like I that, that's a, they should have never gave you money. Yeah. <laughs> Moment. You talking about a, Big a, a coat or the cape? Not nah, the, the the cape's cheap. The the coat. <laughs> I, I bought the coat and I wore it during the summertime. 
and I was sweating like a mother. I must have came in here on some different stuff that day because I don't remember you saying no. Because I'm you, you, you really made fun of me, and y'all was looking at me crazy. <laughs> Cause I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, you, that my, you, rather you, off you, you, so, you, you know. my, hey, hey, look, 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 look. I, I am the comedic relief on this month. You're I don't right? remember that though. Look, I remember the cape. You went, you went in on them on the cape. I think we, yeah, you went in on the, the, the cape. cape was four dollars. <laughs> the cape was four ninety five. Free but shipping. The way you talked about it, <laughs> I can see why. She I mean, was I, I, t- I told the, I told the story, so that price stuck. But I told the story with the coat. Was it like a short story, or no, did you no, like? No, it was like it was like it, it was, with the cape no, type deal. No, no, the cape was actually shorter than the than the whatever, and y'all had a bunch of stories for the the cape, <laughs> and y'all was just like, y'all, but when I told you about the coat, y'all was just like, nah. <laughs> It's like, like in your head, y'all just shut it out. Y'all was like, nah, like, yeah, don't give him no more money. Don't give him no more money. Not a single cent. That is ridiculous. It was ridiculous. I can tell you that though. But he asked me if I ever had that moment. I had that moment. That's that new money moment. My fault. I I shouldn't have. (laughs) No, but seriously, he's like, he's like, he's like, oh yeah, I do remember that. I must have been having some problems or something. It, 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 I don't it was remember that. it was the it, hottest it part of the summer the in Texas. <laughs> but I had bought this coat. I'm gonna wear this coat. I'm not waiting till it gets cold. Will you say how much you spent on it? It wasn't it wasn't like a ton. It was like eighty something bucks. But I mean, I, you couldn't tell me I'm, nothing. I'm thinking you finna say like two hundred dollars or something like that. Nah, like I mean, but it was eighty something bucks in East Bay. That ain't cheap for East Bay. <laughs> I like man, East Bay like about forty nine ninety nine. You know, you know what I'm saying? 95, something like that. 49, so we, 95. So at one point he was an influencer for East Bay. <laughs> oh, no, I, I had a catalog. <laughs> hey, we, we used to ride the bus with that catalog. Yo, he showed it. Hey, hey, stop playing with me. <laughs> hey, don't play with me. So uh, since we're on the uh, subject of influencers, uh, <laughs> do you feel, and uh, it's probably more something Carson wanted to dig into, that the future of marketing, is heading i mean it looks like it's already heading online but do you feel like it's heading towards the influencers like they're, they're yeah, it, gonna I mean, lose money depends on what the way. product is they're part of it but it's not gonna be a hundred percent because like there's no it, it's so finicky i would rather give it to the algorithm and target customers directly if if i had the option between one or the other and not both but but if I had a, a robust campaign where I could do three different types of marketing, I would do like, you know, 60, 30, 10. 10 would be the influencer part. It it, it depends on what the product is. So, so if it, it was like some. what well, it depends on like what kind of thing. But I'm talking about like a big budget kind of thing. So where you're spending, your ad spend is probably like, you know, what Purple Pillow, you know, spent. Purple yeah. Pillow. Yeah. That's one of those brands that that had viral ads. Uh, Harmon Brothers did their um, their marketing campaign. I, look, I I I, I does this purple pillow. That sounds like a yeah. That sounds like a sex toy. I was thinking of no. It, it's of a, it's actually a, a it's actually of weed, but. it's actually uh <laughs> okay. Well, like it's a purple brand. So they had the purple mattress. They had the purple pillow. They even had the pur- purple uh, uh, car cushions. It's a memory foam kind of thing. And it did viral ads. You probably seen them, but you probably don't know. Poopery, the Harmon brothers did that too as well. Mm. Poopery. Yeah, where you do that spray on the thing and, and your your uh your number two don't stink. Oh, I seen that one. I yeah. sure have it. That's a- it's a it's a but it's like a, a commercial that comes on at like midnight or some shit that I uh on see YouTube? That- no, it was on regular TV. Oh well, I, I guess they're doing regular TV now. It might have not been that brand. No, poopery. Yeah. No, poopery is is only one. It's it started. It's poopery. P o o p. I saw it on Adult Swim. I, I, I didn't. I didn't know they did uh, the terrestrial ads. They were a hundred percent online, and then they probably moved on because that's what I saw. Because they they probably had like a bigger ad spend or whatever. And they're like, hey, we got all this money for marketing. We've already saturated the market online. Let's go to uh, traditional again. Yeah, but I I I I'm actually giving that online. to people. I, I give that to people as gifts. I I, I never uh, bought anything through their website, but I, I like I bought impulse buy and bought it as gifts for people, like hmm. Christmas and stuff like that. It, it works well. Don't buy me it. No, actually, actually, everybody that I bought it for was like, "Thank you." I mean, like, I mean, like, just overly thanking me. I'm like, whoa, whoa easy. I want think. <laughs> I want think about you going number two now. Chill out. <laughs> this is gone. This is gone. 
very shitty direction. Um, <laughs> Victoria, so don't like, come to me. No, I'll, I'll don't come to me once you talked if, about some. I don't even. Like, I don't even. All right, what? What? That um, he he said you're the number two. What, that, Kevin? That was horrible. <laughs> that was horrible. Yeah, I'm just like. So, do you see the future of marketing going towards influencers? No, like I said, it depends on what the product is. Just like, for example, a feminine product. You know, if you want to see, but I would go. I would. Skit. I would go more. I would go more. Not even a skit, just the the product. I would go more for celebrities than I would an influencer. That's just because when it comes to that type of thing, you want to see different types of women with the product. Okay. Uh, Since we're here. You, wait, wait. Before you do that, <laughs> before you do that, like, honestly, I would like those viral, like, experiences to be, like, you know, the person that you don't know. Not not the influencer, but, like, the raw reaction from the just a general person. Like, the man on the street type of reaction. So, like, if you had a product or whatever where you're just, like, like the Pepsi challenge, for example, something like okay, that. Okay, I get what you're saying. Like, you if you, it, like, so if I have this pillow or, like, a bed and it's in a mall and people just walk up and they're, like, like touching it or whatever and you, like, record that and get their permissions to, like, be able to use it in ads, I want moments like that. So do you feel with something like that, a consumer would more likely trust it more yes. than a... Maybe an influencer, they do something with it. Yes, authenticity. You just kind of have authenticity. Or, it, it, or, or, you know, like they do with those now, they just pay somebody to act like they walked up and, oh, what is this? Oh, this is great. Nah, I'm like, just I, like, like, that's just not like the holy water. That's not authentic, no. though. Oh, like no. the, the, the raw thing. Like when you get that one dude or whatever that's a little bit animated, he's like, ah, oh. <laughs> you know, like, and he's the greatest thing ever. He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like I'm, I'm getting this to my mama. And he'd be like, <laughs> Hey, like for real, so good, you gonna slap your hey, look, look, you can't pay for that. You can't pay for like, hey, that that on the spot kind of stuff like that. But they're not gonna if the product doesn't work, they're not gonna use none of that because no, but you have to have, look, but you have to have a good product to begin with. If you don't have a good product, you're not gonna get that. If if it if it don't move, it it don't move. But you you should already know that before you spend a dollar. You talking about the the person or the person who? who I'm, I'm saying the person that owns it. The person, but, um, the person owns this shit. Also, given, I, I think you still and deal with the risk of giving that authentic reaction. That the reaction becomes more memorable than the product. Well, that that's when you have to uh, you have to really really temper everything. But that's how you get the viral shares. And then, like, you have to have a robust ad campaign all around everything, so everything supports everything. Because if you go right now to uh, Purple's YouTube channel and just looked at the commercials, you've probably seen at least two of them. You just forgot. I mean, but you weren't, you probably weren't in a, you weren't, you weren't in the market for a mattress. So you weren't even thinking about it. It was off your radar. So they hit everybody. And then like anybody who was in the market for a mattress or even looking at mattresses or even curious about mattresses, they hit them again. Then when they try to get up, they hit them again. Uh, okay. Come with the ads, yeah, I got you. like I so. Got you. So there's stuff that you've seen only one time, like online, because it, it costs like per impression and, then and all that where stuff. And you are in the field for a mattress. They're the first thing that comes to your head. Yeah, like so. So I call it buying real estate in somebody's mind. So you you put you put that stuff in the back of somebody's head, and then if you've marketed enough, it moves further, like for further and further forward in the, yeah. in their mind. Hmm. And then when they're when they are in the market, they're gonna think about all this other stuff and they'll be like, Oh, yeah, I do remember X. That's why when I'm sitting up here in the checkout line and it's around Christmas time, I see Poopery and I'm like, Oh, oh yo, that'll make a good gift for such and such. <laughs> no. He did some, he did he did me a Come favor. With another he, so. he did, no, no, because no, I'm saying I'm saying like that's one reason why I did it. Like I, I study marketing, market okay. marketing is my <laughs> marketing is my major, and I know when this stuff is happening. And whenever I have one of those so, like organic moments like that, where I can actually like I I, I actually do it real time, where I I kind of access the the logical part of my brain and know what's happening and how it got there, versus you know, so everything you, else. Your marketing, I want to use this um, kind of one more premise before we wrap things up. 
So let's say you're a bigger brand like a, a McDonald's or Burger King or Pepsi. They're not marketing to let you know what their product is. They're marketing just for the sake of saying that they're yeah, they're still here. Well, for, for yeah, the, yeah, absolutely. Brand recognition. Brand, yeah, it's brand like, recognition. It's like brand recognition marketing. So they they're probably not going to do influencers or anything like that. They're going to do the Coca-Cola um they're going to do Coca-Cola polar bear. They're going to do um they can do the um uh Pepsi the Crystal Clear Pepsi anniversary. They they're going to do stuff like that. So but let's say uh like the McDonald's McRib. Every year the McRib is back. Nasty. <laughs> back to you, yeah. back, back to you, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got food poisoning one time. Damn, I just went to the wrong door. <laughs> sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. Uh, but uh, okay. So what no what else you got? Huh? What there else do you have? There's a point why I use McRib. So obviously, they may want to try something different in their sense of uh, promoting it. The rib is back that you all not eat. Yeah, they, 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 they don't have to though. There's there's so many people that eat McDonald's that they they don't need me. They don't need my money. Oh no, I wouldn't ask them for that point. I was saying <laughs> d- different ways of promoting the fact that it's back. Because you you obviously you don't want to use the same old commercial. The McRib is back. I mean it works, but I mean every now and then. All you gotta do is put a sign up in the window. The person that comes to McDonald's like to get their coffee. Or just to get their their whatever Wednesday meal, or or to, to feed Timmy, Jimmy, and and John. I mean, they're, well, gonna, they're, they're, they're gonna be like McRib's back. Oh, okay, to feed who? Timmy, Jimmy, John. Okay, Timmy, Jimmy, John. Come on, like you can't remember that. Those aren't um, Timmy, Jimmy, John. You know whatever. Whatever. What are you talking about? Timmy, it's... Jimmy, John work for a construction company. Okay. Mid level construction company. So based out of the southeast. I think you got a whole this. scenario that just came up yeah, in your yes, head. Yes, yeah, it's so, real time. I do got this. A whole scenario yeah, just came I up does in your this. Head. And you did it so and you sent it somewhere else. So we're gonna go ahead and uh don't end this. it like that. Don't, <laughs> don't end it else. like that. Then you don't to, don't I then you have, have to I have no clue because, but we cannot end either. this like that. I we can't end it like that. I does this. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> go back into influencers real quick. Go back. Go back. Go back. Hold on. Go back. Go back. Okay. Go back. Go back. Fast Influence. Not, fast not Victoria. Slow. Final thoughts. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're not doing I that. I just said. <laughs> <laughs> we cannot end this episode like so, that. So, I'm trying to tell you that. So you gonna ask me something because I ain't got shit. So so this has been <laughs> a great episode. <laughs> talking about influencers. Where's where is poopery where, where, over here? Poop poopery. Poop pooper, whatever it's called. Poopery, thank you. <laughs> it's a great product. It makes great stocking stuffers. Great stocking. What the stuff. hell are we at? I'm right telling now. you right now. I'm telling we you. We right cannot now. end this episode. This <laughs> Shout out to the Harmon Brothers. They did a commercial. Oh so, my gosh. Okay. How did we get here? That's the thing. I don't know. Uh, How do <laughs> I don't know? This is. Oh um, my goodness. So, Victor, I, 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 I like get, this. Uh, I like this. So, you're marking it. Um, give me a major brand that you like. A major product that you would direct a commercial for. Mercedes. Hmm. So, the, any way that you think you could you would use an influencer in the making of a commercial? Not at Mercedes? all. I use real people. I'll yeah. put. I'll Dang. take the fastest Mercedes they have, put them on the race course, and yeah, go Jimmy, as Jimmy Jones. fast as. See, that's where <laughs> that's, that's where you're messing up. That's where you're messing up. Don't give him no doubt, Kevin. If you give him doubt, <laughs> don't let me hang. Don't let me hang. <laughs> if you give Mother. him doubt, <laughs> I don't even know no more. <laughs> okay, uh, he's scared. I'm only, I'm a, he's scared to come to me. I'm a, I'm a, in, in, he's scared to come to me. Too, but I feel and the well thing was, and the thing was, we was in it on a good note until you said that. I mean, you, you said <laughs> that, not me. I so, didn't say this. You said that. So, okay. What's a brand that you would use an influencer for? 
<laughs> Look, you got to give me some, or I'm going to Carson. So you can go for the yeah, 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 I'm next. So. <laughs> look, look, because mine is gonna be worse than the. Oh wow! Wow, well, look, that's two episodes in a row, baby. That was crazy. I kind of want to know, <laughs> and I think I'm gonna regret it at the same I, time. I stopped myself because it's gonna be worse than what he was. She's say. gonna do a commercial with BET Uncut. Like what <laughs> that's where I was going. I was going. <laughs> I was going to say a sex toy. That's oh. where I was going. <laughs> what you were going to throw a deal on somebody? <laughs> Influence this. <laughs> <laughs> this is going horribly wrong. Uh, <laughs> and it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, this is it worse is. than the Christmas episode that turned into a Halloween episode. <laughs> I remember that episode. Die Look. Hard is a Christmas movie. Look, listen. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. They let Halloween a Christmas movie too, right? They, it was it. Dude, this is over. Like, no, we're not doing, we're not doing this again. Wait, hold on, you to go to me. <laughs> you, you, you We've go gone to, to you enough you, today. No, yeah, what the hell? No, I just, I just interjected enough. That's all. That's all <laughs> I have. Boy, did you? Oh I, my goodness. I mean, you did say sex. I can't imagine you. I didn't say no sex toy. No, no, no that's what I did. said. Uh, yeah, man. She over there promoting Adam and Eve. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, you know about Adam and Eve. They got a show. They got a uh, little showroom on Broadway. Well, not Broadway. Um, I don't even know. What is like, it? Uh, off the interstate. Off of, uh, six, the, the... What? That's a store? The 40-240 split. That's yeah. a store? Yeah. Oh. That's that's the name of it? Mm -hmm. Oh. I didn't even know that. They, they got like three of them in Nashville. I don't even know that. I was See, like, I, I you drove, go over here talking about by. me. I, I don't by. know that. But you opened this door. So this <laughs> well, I told of... you I stopped myself. I've never been up in the store. I know Sounds... what it is, though. I told you I stopped myself before I said something. But then you were like, "Well, so, I really want to know what you were going to say." So, just so I can blame you for it. Oh, okay. So, go ahead. Sounds like there's three stores that could use your directorial services. I'm <laughs> definitely not doing that. <laughs> Hey, look! You're not. You, your name ain't gonna be on I'm it. I'm definitely not you doing it. I'm that. telling you right exactly. now, <laughs> my name is not gonna be on. Yeah, that. but you can white label that. I'm not. No. I'm not doing it. Wait, okay. Porn, porn directors don't use their real names. It don't matter. But it's not. It's not a. It's not a. Porn it can be sassy V. It's not. It's not a porn director. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a porn director. It's a director of commercial. In this episode. <laughs> in this episode. I thank you all for listening today. I'm here with my colleague Sassy V. Smooth type, wow, and Black Knight. Thank oh, you. Oh, so he gave, <laughs> he gave himself a good name. Sound like a hero, doesn't and, it? And, and I, I don't, I don't want no parts of that. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't want. But him yet to, he gave I, me and you. I don't. This, I, this, I nah, think Sassy V nah. sounds great. Look, no, look. it does not. <laughs> I'm extremely exhausted. <laughs> sounds like a sound like a, a smooth drink. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a wrap. Lights, camera, action. In a studio where local filmmakers talk to other filmmakers about the inside world of film. Cut. That's not the script. F it. We'll fix it in post. Do you wonder how films are produced and what really goes on behind the scenes? Well, stand by. Filmmakers Kevin Mumphrey, Victoria V.A. Jones, and Carson Hype Ferguson explaining all the details. Right here on F*** It, We Will Fix It in Post Podcast.